Welcome to the Awaken the Awesome podcast with your host, Olivier D. This is Awaken the Awesome, a podcast bringing a down to earth approach to personal growth. On this show, we're helping individuals just like you learn about tapping into their incredible potential through insightful interviews and inspiring lessons. Our mission is to encourage you to always keep pushing towards achieving your dreams and to stay awesome along the way. Good morning, gang. Um, of course, it's important to say good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, early rise this morning. I wake up early any morning, but I don't usually record this early. Uh, save for maybe a guest or something, but uh, 542 on Friday, um, I just wanted to jump on because this was on my heart and I felt like this was a good message to send you guys off onto your day, wherever these words find you. Um, it's very important to always remember that when you're so eager for the shift to happen, you know, for, you know, some a lot of times we spend so much time worrying about this manifestation or how we want our success to present itself and when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? And sometimes we feel, as we like to say, stuck all the time. And we don't know, we don't know where the change is going to come from and what we need to do and how it's going to happen. And sometimes we have no idea what we're doing. And that's okay. That's okay. We are all a work in progress. And what I wanted to share with you is because I had to do a lot of work on myself to understand that it's all going to take a lot of work. For me, a lot of struggles was working on workaholism, working on being more present um, because of my very, you know, self-reliant nature. I have a lot of issues, you know, being so being not dependent, but being reliant on other people. I always I'm always a person who doesn't mind doing shit, doing stuff by myself. I'm sorry to curse, but when you understand that you have a lot of work to do on yourself. And it's always from the inside out, right? And I'm going to take a very clear example. Sometimes all you need to do is a, is one simple shift. Sometimes we think that we have to take a stick of dynamite to our entire car castle and then start over. And sometimes it's a proper solution. Sometimes you have to walk away from everything you know and everything you do and everything you've decided and every choice you've made up to this point and redo everything and sometimes you have to be that radical but not always sometimes a significant shift can happen just by changing one thing just by changing one thing and you can have tremendous results just one simple shift i'm sure you can think about a lot of examples in your life because hindsight is 2020, I'm sure you can deconstruct a lot of circumstances in your life where you realize that you could have done just one thing different and things would be very, 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 very different for you. Good or bad, I can't decide that for you because I don't believe that they're good or bad choices, save some from some very, 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 very specific examples. But I always like to say that there are no wrong choices. They're only the choices that you can live with. And I mean that there are no wrong choices. There are only the choices that you can live with. There are things that are incredibly beneficial to you. And there are things that are incredibly destructive and disruptive to you. And whether that's good or bad is for you to accept or reject. There are only the choices that you can live with. All right. And of course, there will always be the choice that you can learn from. Now, what I'm talking about a shift is something, practically speaking, if you want to, you know, apply this in any which way, and if it works for you, I'm hoping that it can serve. If you take it's a trick, if you take a piece of paper, I'm sorry, if you take a piece of paper, and I invite you to do this, it's a great exercise. Take a piece of paper and write down your formula. And what I mean by your formula is something very introspective. It's going to take you a lot of courage. What does the perfect day look like for you? Write down your perfect day. And if you don't want to use the word perfect, write down a good day. See, I'm really lowering the bar for you. Write down a good day. How do you wake up? Do you exercise? Do you pray? Do you meditate? Do you do yoga? Do you go out for a walk? 
is the laundry folded? Are you are you taking out the laundry, you know, from the washing machine, from the dryer? I'm sorry. Are you having cereal? Are you not having breakfast? Because some people don't like to eat breakfast in the morning. They'd rather just grab something on the run. It's okay. There are no wrong scenarios here. But if it's something that's meaningful to you and it's something that you think is ideal in your current chapter of your journey and think that it is beneficial to you, you need to write it down. Okay. And it could be long, it could be short, but just make sure that it's something that's intimately important and matters to you. Now, following that, you need to ask yourself like, okay, what is out of all of this? Because it's going to be a lot. If you're honest with yourself, it's going to be a lot. Some people are very clear. And for those of us who are still in that state of confusion, it could be a lot. So this is just fair warning. Now, once you're done with that, and don't spend too much time on it. Don't really don't spend too much time on it. It's supposed to be like a full-on emotional outburst of desire and clarity. All right? And don't think of yourself as, like, oh, this is stupid. This is stupid. Don't ever tell yourself that. Just lay it out. Now, when you're done that, just look at the list and say, okay, just pick one. It's like, what is one of these things that I can change? What is one of these things that I can change? Me? I like getting up early. I like waking up with the wolves. <laughs> and for myself, why does it do that? The house is still asleep. I can navigate through the house without making any noise. Um, gives me a lot of time to myself. If I want to go do some reading, I can do that. Um, if I want to go work on this podcast, I can do that. I can, you know, plan out my day. I can do that. You know, sometimes you need time to yourself, whether it's late at night, whether it's early in the morning. I'm an early riser. I don't mind waking up early. I really don't. That works for me. Okay. And if you're not an early riser, that's okay. That's not part of your formula. That's okay. And other example, say, okay. How much water am I going to drink today? I like to drink water. Okay. Do I really need to have snacks? Nutrition is important. Drink more water. Anyone will tell you that. Drink some water. And you want to go for a ride or you want to go for a walk. Understand what, what, what needs to be, what needs to be happening. What can you do? What does it look like? What is one simple shift that you can do? And I really mean one simple shift. You don't have to change everything. You don't have to change everything, whether it's financial, emotional, relationship, parenting, career. Suppose you want to change jobs. What is one simple shift you can do? Okay. Spend 10 minutes on LinkedIn. Look for a job. I didn't even say apply. But spend 10 minutes on LinkedIn. You already shifted your brain and said, okay, we're doing something differently today. Suppose you want to change jobs. Go on LinkedIn. Tell yourself, like, okay, every day at 6 p.m. after work, I'm going to spend 20 minutes on LinkedIn looking for a job. Or Indeed or ZipRecruiter, whatever you want. You just look for a job. Because it's not going to happen in an instant, but you need to reel the universe in so the universe can understand that, oh, okay, so we're shifting today. Okay, so we need to reassess his formula and send some opportunities his or her way. So you need to do that. So you need to be honest with yourself and you need to be intentional about it and you need to identify what is that one simple thing. But I didn't say easy though. Because change is always, always, always uncomfortable. But it is in the discomfort that we uncover the reward. Because anything, as you know, worth having is worth fighting for. And is also worth a little bit of discomfort. I'm not asking you to go build an airplane with a toothpick. That's not your calling but we're talking about simple shifts because I really believe from the inside out, inside out, 
What can you change? What can you change? What can you change today? But you need to be clear about it. Don't just throw words into the universe. Just say, okay, grab a piece of paper, write down what a, what a good day looks like. And out of these items, out of these representations of your well-being, what is one shift you can make? I did that exercise plenty of times, and I'm still doing it at times when I realize, oh, okay, I don't sleep enough. Okay, what's one shift I can make? All right, don't edit past this time. Sometimes it's not easy because, again, I run by on very little fuel, and these are remnants of me working late night shifts for a really, really, really long time. And something I still have to fight. So sometimes I drag myself to bed just to fight the fact that I can stay up for a really long time. But that's me. So know your formula. Be Have a representation for it. And understand, this is my current formula and this is my ideal formula. And how do I mix the two? What works and what no longer works? It all depends on one simple shift. I praise you. I applaud you. I celebrate you. Wherever you are, I don't know your face. I don't know your name. Wherever these words find you, I hope they will serve you in any which way towards your journey of greatness that I know is within you. With love and respect and gratitude for your time and support, but also knowing that you are an incredible individual that will do many great things. These are my words to you today. Have a great one. God bless you. I do love you. Stay safe. Stay awesome. This has been another episode of the Awaken the Awesome podcast. We always love to get your feedback, so please do drop us a line via Instagram, Facebook, or email. Our email address, awakentheawesome at gmail.com. Do visit our official website at awakentheawesome.ca where you can find our entire back catalog of episodes and incredible guests. Also, if you haven't already, please hop on over to Apple Podcasts and subscribe, give us a rating, and leave us a review as this helps us tremendously in growing this podcast and spreading the word to more awesome listeners like you. We always appreciate your support and thank you for listening. Stay awesome.